Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to copy and digitize DVDs on Mac computers. This method makes use of an app called Mac X DVD Reaper Pro. Thank you. That's the look of the app. What this app does is that it allows you to convert your DVD contents, whether it is a physical DVD or ISO file or copy DVD file into various video formats, including MP4, MPG, MOV, AVI, MKV, and so on. It also provides you with the option to convert the DVD for your iPhone, iPad, or Android devices as well. And another cool feature of this app is that it also allows you to convert or rip copy protected DVD as well. It's really awesome. So why do you need this app, Mac X DVD Ripper? Simple, if you have like lots of DVDs at home and you do not want to carry that along and you want to digitize it, turn it into a video file store on your SSD that you can uh, play it anytime you want smoothly and no hassle. This Mac app is the best app for you to turn those physical DVDs into the digitized format so that you can use it anywhere you want. So let me show you how fast this tool can convert. So as you know that the DVD file would be about between 4 to 8 gigabytes. In my case here, my movie DVD called Up, its size is 8.2 gigabytes. I just select it, click OK, to start detecting it, and it pops up with this output profile asking you to select what format you want to convert the video to. So you can see here they have lots of options that you can choose. I usually select the general profiles and it will recommend me to select MP4. But if you want to play it on specific device like iPhone or Android phone, or if you want to play it on Apple QuickTime app, you can also convert it to MOV. And you can see you have tons and tons of different supported devices devices that you can convert to. So you can convert to Apple devices, Android devices, Microsoft device, Sony and so on. You can even convert it to YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo and so on. Let's just stick with the recommended format, but let's just choose MOV instead. Click done here. And usually it automatically select one file that contains all the media inside. You don't have to worry about this, just leave it like that. You can even edit it first. You can see here, you can even add subtitle to it. You can even trim it first or crop it. And then click apply to all. And then click done and it would be done. So you can edit the video first before you convert so that you can only get the selected specific area of the video that you want. If in case you want to change the resolution here, you just click on this setting icon and then resolution right here. Click on customize and type in the resolution you want or just click here. It will provide the resolution that you can choose. Let's just choose this one here and I leave everything else as the way it is. Click OK. If you want to rename the movie before it is converted, you can also do so. Change that name to anything else you want. But I just leave it like that. And on this side, because I'm using iMac, it detects that this is iMac and hardware encoded supported. And the CPU core is, I just choose the maximum four. But if you're using the new MacBook Pro, they have more than eight or 10 core, depending on your Mac. And it will convert even much faster. Like with my computer, it already convert fast. It won't take long. It would take less than 10 minutes. If you use a new MacBook, it would take much less time because like I said, the new MacBook have like eight or 10 or 15 core or something. So it would be much faster. So once everything is customized and configured, you can start running the program to start converting. Just click on run here. And you just wait for it to finish. So at the moment, because I changed the resolution from 720 to 1920, it's kind of like make it bigger. So it would take a little bit more time. But if you leave the resolution the same as the DVD one, it would convert faster. So we just wait for it to finish converting. Okay, you can see it's completed now. Here's the movie. So for copyrighted reason, I have to mute the sound. You can only see the video without sound. And before we open it, just check the size of it first. So the size of the conversion is 1.97 gigabyte and the dimension is 1920 by 1080 because I chose the bigger resolution. That's why it's bigger. Last time that I converted, if I keep the same size as the original DVD, 720 by 480, it would be two times less than the size here. It would be around 900 megabytes. You can see from the size of 8 gigabytes to 1.9 gigabytes.
you can also see video quality there it's good but because i tried to double the resolution that's why it kind of look not look as good as the original file because the pixel density is a little bit bigger that's why it's not really clear but if you just leave the conversion resolution to the same as the original resolution of the dvd like 720 by 480 then it would be clearer but in a smaller size so let me convert again and show you what it looks like so like the keep original one click ok click run again and usually it will do it faster because uh, i do not change anything so the speed should be faster let's wait for it okay you can see it's done let's check the size here See right now it's 981 megabytes, two times smaller than before. If you double click on it, play. So you can see this app is very useful and it converts very fast. If you have lots of DVDs at home and you want to convert those into the digital format, you should use this app. It's very convenient. So if you're interested in this app, you can just click on the link and try the trial versions first to see how it goes. And if you like it, you can just come to purchase the premium license, which is now more than 30% discount. You can see here it's only $39.95, while in the past it cost $59.95. Okay, that's it guys. This is how you can copy and digitize your DVD using the app called MacX DVD Ripper Pro. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.